Zero Breeze Mark II camping air conditioner. I'm super excited about this. Well, that's awesome. It's blowing cold air. I can feel it. Not too bad coming out of the uh, Mark II here. 35, 34. Four degrees in 15 minutes. Not bad. Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking out and setting up this Zero Breeze Mark II camping air conditioner. I'm super excited about this. Uh, we've been wanting to figure out a system that'll keep us cooler while we're up in the rooftop tent, and also something that will allow our pup to be in the car if we need to leave him in there for any amount of time. Um, you know, while we're out doing stuff. So excited to get this thing unboxed, get it set up and test it out. Let's get into it. All right, we got the manual and the remote, exhaust hose and vents and all that. There it is. All right, so here's the unit itself. It's actually, without the battery, quite a bit lighter than I was uh, anticipating, which is cool. Um, there are optional batteries that attach here on the bottom. Uh, I ended up not going with the extra batteries because we're gonna wire this directly into our 12 volt battery setup. Now this is a 24 volt unit, but they do sell a 24 to 12 volt conversion, uh, which I do have. So we're going to get all that wired up, hook it into our lithium ion phosphate batteries that we have. Uh, and that should keep this thing running for quite a few hours. Let's kind of take a look, go through all of the details on this particular unit and then we'll look at how we're going to install it into the rig. The Zero Breeze Mark II is a 2300 BTU portable air conditioner. Yes, an actual DC powered compressor, legit AC. It weighs in at 16 and a half pounds without the optional lithium ion battery pack and it is 20 inches long by 10 inches wide by 11 inches high. It features four working modes with four different fan speeds. Consuming just 240 watts of power, Zero Breeze states that it can run for three and a half hours off of their battery packs. Hooking it up and running it off of our rig's 300 amp hours of lithium batteries, we estimate it could run for a full 24 hours if needed. All right, so now that we got this thing out of the box, I got the 12 to 24 volt converter here. Uh, so this is an accessory that is sold separately. If you want to hook this 24 volt apparatus up to a 12 volt system which is what we want to do so they also provide sort of this uh, raw pigtail which is what we're going to use um, because i have a fuse box already installed in my setup and i can just hook these up so what we're going to be doing is adding some uh, connectors on the end of this That'll make it easy to connect up into my fuse box and we should be good to go. Uh, so this is the actual converter box. This end we'll plug in here like so. And then this side will connect up to my 12 volt system. And this side connects into the power in the back of the machine here. So here I'm adding ring terminals or spade terminals to the end of the pigtail provided by Zero Breeze. Uh, I'm just using some cheap terminals that I bought off of Amazon. They aren't the best quality, but they do seem to get the job done. I've used them on a number of projects without issue. Also got these other crimping tools off of Amazon as well. I'll link everything down in the description below. The manual does say this pulls 25 amps, so I've opted to add a 30 amp fuse uh, into my fuse box for this system. All right, it's a little dusty back here, but this is kind of where I have my my 
a 12 volt bus uh, fuse block here. I do have a pretty big inverter and I could just plug it in, plug the zero breeze in here, um, but I'd rather run it off the 12 volt system directly than convert to AC. So what we'll be doing is hooking it up here, throwing in a 30 amp fuse, should be good. Alright, so we're just going to set the unit there for now, just as a temporary test spot. Alright, so we got our 12 volt adapter with our ends crimped here. Gonna need a little bit more room to work with. Carefully split this a little bit more. All right, so these are marked. Um, you probably can't see them, but we got a negative here and a positive here. So obviously critical that we get those onto the right sides of things. We got our 30 amp fuse. All right, we're gonna leave this disconnected, hook this up. Sounds like we got some beeps and action, so let's check that out. All right, All right let's, let's try, try to power this baby up. Ambient over there just on the ground is 71. And cool air is coming out. Feels nice. All right, well that's awesome. It's blowing cold air, I can feel it from here. It's uh, not pulling too much power, which is cool. And that's the ideal scenario. Obviously, we don't want to totally blow through all of our batteries too fast, but we do have 300 amp hours that it's hooked up to, uh, so that's nice. It's blowing nice and cold. Um, as you can kind of tell, it does take up a little bit of space there. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what the final mounting position or point's going to be, but it is really easy to disconnect, move around, shuffle, so we can kind of keep it flexible and portable. Uh, which is nice and because we're not using the batteries it's pretty light so that's awesome uh, happy with that i know the batteries uh, that you can buy with it they're expensive they're heavy um, so it is nice to be able to hook it up into our existing 12 volt system where we already have 300 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate so super stoked and now let's take this baby camping and camp in comfort all right well now that we got the old AC all hooked up and able to connect to our 12 volt system and go out and test it a little bit today uh, so I'm gonna do a couple tests gonna get this thing out into the full Sun let it heat up for a minute and then check the temperature inside and then start the AC see how long it takes to kind of cool down and what it'll hold at uh, and then we're gonna throw up the rooftop tent let that heat up 
uh, and then pipe the cold air up to the tent and see how long it takes to cool that down and see how it's able to maintain colder temperatures. So got a little bit of a breeze, but the sun is out. We'll see how hot we can get it before we turn on the AC. But uh, this should just be a quick little test to kind of see how things work out. So let's get to it. Well, we are out here parked in the sun. We're already starting to heat up. 77 in here right now. We're gonna set that there. I'm gonna let this heat up, 78 already. So yeah, it's gonna creeping up quick. We're gonna get, uh, get everything set up here. Uh, get the exhaust hoses set up kind of pointing out the window i think is the best way to do it then we'll get this ac unit cranking and see how it goes let's hope this thing works well all right so i got the rooftop tent uh set up Got it all zipped up and closed up, so hopefully the sun will heat it up in there as well. Car's warming up, it's up to 83 already, so gonna give it a few more minutes to heat up, and then we'll flip on the Zero Breeze Mark II and see how fast we can cool down the cabin, uh, and then we'll hop up to the rooftop tent and see how fast we can cool that down as well. So, should be a quick, uh, simple test here, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so we got everything hooked up here. Let's run the exhaust. Up, right out the window, kind of temporary setup. We are at 86 degrees in here, and we're gonna turn this bad boy on. Rocket mode. Start a timer. Things cranking up. All right, let's see how long this takes. All right, so. We're at 24 minutes uh, and we've dropped four degrees. We were at 87, now we're down to 83. So it is slowly coming down. Now it does say in the manual that the best way to do this in a vehicle is to start with a vehicle already cooled down from your vehicle's AC, uh, which obviously makes a lot of sense. More than likely you're gonna show up somewhere with the vehicle already cold. So the Mark II can just sort of do its best to maintain the temperature rather than try to cool down the whole cabin uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and start up the rig here uh, get the ac blast in cool it down a bit and then we'll see if the mark ii can maintain that temperature while we're kind of here in and out of the sun uh, we'll see how it goes all right there's that This turn down, get the temp turned down to low, and we'll let that run here for a minute. So the air coming out of the vehicle vent is cold. I don't know how accurate this thermometer is. Below freezing, I don't know, but yeah, 33, 35, 34, so pretty chilly. Not too bad coming out of the uh, Mark II here. 35, 34. So, yeah, not too bad. It's about the same temperature coming of air coming out, uh, which is pretty cool. All right, so we're just coming up on 39 minutes here. Uh, 10 minutes with the car running, we're down to about 72 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car off uh, and we're gonna see if the Zero Breeze can maintain uh, around the 72 degree mark. So the sun's kind of in and out behind some clouds, so that'll help a little bit. Uh, oh, looks like we hit 71 just when I turned it off there. Uh, so we're gonna let this run without the car for a few minutes and see what kind of temperatures we can maintain. All right, we're at a little over an hour and we bumped up to 74. So that's not too bad. Uh, we turned the car off at about 
39, 40 minutes at 70, 70 degrees. So we've gone up four degrees in 20-ish or so minutes. Um, yeah, not too bad, I guess. The sun's not 100% beating down, but again, I think if we had the windows covered, we'd probably be maintaining temperature for a bit longer here. All right, well, we're an hour seven. Uh, it's bumped up to 75 now here in the vehicle. Um, still nice and cold air blowing out of this thing. So, you know, I think with it positioned correctly, uh, our little pup espresso kind of usually chills on a bed here uh, in between the seats. Uh, and so with how I have that air, the AC set up there, you know, be blowing right on him if he was uh, sitting there. So, yeah, between that and putting some window covers, especially in, in on any window that's in the direct sun, I think that would work well. So, yeah, overall pretty impressed with this little unit uh, at the moment. I'm going to shut it off here, uh, reroute the air up into the tent, and kind of see what we can do there. So, I'm going to get this thermometer up in the tent to normalize to that current temperature. Then we'll get the AC blown up there uh, and see how quickly we can cool down that rooftop tent. So, got the exhaust heading out that side. Cold air is coming up this side. Extend this out. Alright, this is not perfectly ideal. But, got it kind of set up here. And in this case, and then running up into the tent. Definitely need a longer, <clears throat> longer hose. Exhaust kind of fell in over there, but it is blown into the tent. I'm gonna start a timer, let it run for a little bit, and then check back in on the temperature. All right, we're coming up on 15 minutes. I'm gonna jump up here and see what we're working with. Hey, all right, we're 76. Four degrees in 15 minutes, not bad. I'll definitely take that. I think that'll do it for this kind of initial first impressions video on the Zero Breeze Mark II camping air conditioner. Obviously, this was just a quick test to kind of see how it works, see uh, functionally like how I can, might be able to set it up here in the rig. Uh, definitely got some tweaking to do to make sure you know, we can use it inside the rig when we need to, we can use it up in the rooftop tent when we need to. Definitely will need a longer hose perhaps, or maybe uh, some way of just kind of setting this up outside the rig so it's a little bit closer and higher up. Um, so anyways, we'll work on tweaking that setup uh, and kind of use it throughout the rest of the summer here. We've got a few trips planned. Um, yeah, and then uh, eventually we'll do a more in-depth sort of long-term review of the product and how it's held up, how it's worked for us uh, throughout the camping season. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're interested in going ahead and picking one of these up, uh, I do have a link down in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so it does help us out here on the channel at no cost to you. Also, just full disclosure, I did pay full price with our own money uh, for this unit. It was not provided by Zero Breeze for free, uh, but we do have that affiliate link down in the description below if you'd like to support the channel. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.